Hello collective, patients, your psychic, intuitive, host of Spirit News on Spotify, where we teach you about your non physicalness with my own spirit team, the Guild of the Golden Triangle. I just got a download about sacrifices, and I have to share it with you, because we've been doing the collective reads, and it seems that people who are intensely following the, Bi the Bible, like quite literally, are sacrificing animals and humans, but Spirit wants me to relay a message about the Bible and sacrifices and how it relates to modern day society because they inform me that the Bible was in a time where the energy was very dense. We were in a different part of the solar system, we were farther away from the sun, so we weren't receiving as much energy as we are now. And it will continue to rise as we move in the solar system and we get closer to the sun. And as we get closer to the sun, it requires less physical action and more intentional energetic action emotional action instead of doing an actual sacrifice so in the sacrifices you would do now to honor the energy in the state it's at now won't require hurting animals or people because they did those things back then because the energy was less dense so to get closer to the god to god they had to sacrifice something that was of value to them at the time but now we can sacrifice you know we could go to the gym instead of lay in bed we can have water instead of that coffee we can not go on that shopping spree that we can't afford we can clean the house instead of sitting on the couch you know those are the sacrifices today that show your intention to honoring yourself and God and so you don't need to kill animals, you don't need to do rituals, you don't need to do any sacrifices that require the hurting of another animal or person because the energy is just completely different. You, In fact, you don't even need to, do, to sit around in a circle under the moonlight and you don't need to do those things. You only need to do those things if you're operating in a dense energy because it's the only way you can get power. But if you work on your field, like we talk about on Spirit News, if you clear your field of emotional baggage and your attachments, you will be able to just think those things that you want and you'll receive them. You'll be at the resonance needed to manifest what you want. You won't need to do rituals. You won't need to do sacrifices. You won't need to do all the things we talk about on the collective that people on YouTube that people are doing to gain power. If you just look at your emotions, you can shift the energy with your thoughts. Okay, so just want to share that spirit and I go with you. Love you guys. Bye.